What's up? Hey there, we are selling our self-converted camper van. His name is Bolly. The car is a 4D350 short bus. You could say it is a short bus. Um, it's a self-converted camper van. Uh, yeah. The engine is a 7.3 liter power stroke turbo diesel. Uh, eight cylinders. A yeah, bit solid motor. motor yeah, one of the longest running yeah. ever built. Still working very fine. Yeah, the van is from 1997. On the right side, we installed the awning. Very well working. You can easily uh, assemble it. Usually, it's uh, stuck here during driving and rolled in. Yeah, it's pretty nice if it's hot in the summer and you uh, need a bit shadow, or even it if it rains, um, you can still sit outside and Eat have some <laughs> yummy strawberries. By the way, the furniture you see here, we are selling. Uh, it comes with the van. So if you buy it, you have two chairs, little table with it. Yeah, and the table also uh, folds in easily. So <laughs> it's just, you can make it small and then put it into the van and it don't need a lot of space. As well, chairs, folding chairs, Amazon Basics, um, very well working. Uh, nothing more to say here. Uh, the next thing is um, a ski or snowboard or surfboard rack on the side. Easy to put your skis in if you want to make a trip in the winter or your surfboard. There's also uh, a rack on the roof, so you could easily put a canoe or a... Canoes or even put our bikes up there. It's very easy. It has also a mount for bike rack if you want one and it comes with the key lock where you can store your keys in. So that's the interior from the back. The doors have special blends installed you can take out. You can easily open them just by lifting up this flap up there and putting out the sheets. Yeah. So you have a window there. Yeah. As yeah. well with down here, easily to assemble or just assemble. The good thing about this is that it does not let any light outside, so if you park somewhere uh, in the night, nobody can see you in there. We're gonna continue in the back under the bed. Um, we have a spare tire here and some snow chains for the uh, car, fluid and some plastic sheets. If you are on that trip with your bikes and it's muddy, we have this little car mat up here you can stand on, don't get muddy, and dress yourself. Uh, there's ground power installed, so you can charge it just by plugging it in. Uh, there's also a spare battery for emergencies to just charge it or uh, start your car if you have a battery in the front side. It's a new one, but it can still happen to every car. It's just nice to have a backup. We also have a light over here, which you can turn on there. Then you have light outside. Nice. So now we come into the inside. Put your shoes off first, please. We have two pretty comfortable seats here. And we have the AC, very well working. Can get pretty cool if it's really hot or pretty hot if it's really cool outside. Uh, in addition for that, for the winter, we have a really powerful heater. Which it's is down here, located down here. The hot air from the heater comes through here and <laughs> gets out over here. We also have some sheets for the uh, isolation for the front window. Comes with the van. And over here we have some pretty nice cup holders um, to keep just... your cups holded. <laughs> uh, the radio is not working unfortunately not working but you can easily put a bluetooth bo uh, speaker in the uh, front and plug it in in the 12 volt here we have an extension cable for a light chain you can out install outside yes so you have light in the evening and we can make a pretty chilled atmosphere here outside here we have our master switch for the light inside four headlights installed working very well you can also dim them to not uh, use so much electricity. And, and you can uh, uh, you can switch them off and on separately. 
Yeah. If you come into the living area, we have on the right side a nice little bed for one person. You want to show how big it is? And lay down. Yeah. yeah. So it, you can sleep easily in there, one person, maybe a kid. Um, and over here we have the big, the big queen size two person bed. Uh, which is pretty comfortable. Here we have our kitchen area, a lot of storage space on top. Here we have our sink. It gets power. The water comes from an electric pump. Down there, we're gonna shower that in a separate, uh, in a few seconds. We have our tap here, running water, as you can see. The sink goes to a wastewater tank located under a vehicle. Um, the electric pump gets switched on by this switch. We have some more storage over here where you can put your dishes and other stuff. Get secured when you drive by this little thing so it doesn't pop all the time. Yes. Right over there. Some more storage in there. We have even lighting. Uh, whatever you want to put there. You have LEDs to see what you do down there. And the next thing would be the table. The LEDs also uh, light up the kitchen area and also under the bed to storage. So this is our table. Um, you can uh, just unsecure it by opening this little latch here. Pull it up, it's really hard to get it up actually. And there's here. one. One leg, I don't know how to say it. Uh, so I'm yeah, to keep just it up. stick it under the table and then you have a pretty stale table. Uh, you can sit here to eat. Uh, located right on the table, we have a little voice bin. Uh, you can throw the trash in there just by grabbing around here. And we carved out here a little thing so you can uh, get a bear in the bin when the table is down. Secure it when you drive. Put it back. Uh, we have a fire extinguisher here for emergencies. So if something happens, if you cook... With this cooker that nice comes with the van. Cooker. Just put it here. Powered by butane. It's very easy, just put a tank inside. There are several ones come with the van. I think we have, how many do we got left? Yeah, we got like 10 or so left. Yeah, they are stored down here. So there are three, six, eight, ten, ten left. We 40 for every case you need. Uh, garbage bags, toilet paper. The gas cans are also not very expensive and you can get them everywhere, so pretty nice. You can switch it on just by locking it in here and it's working. We have a hatch in the roof so my big body can fit here and stand upright. You have three different options to have this window. Either open like we had it all the time, like this when it's raining outside and you still want some errands. You probably want to have it like this when it's raining, so the the, uh, the water can easily run down there. So if you have it like this, the water store, uh, gets stored on top, and if you try to close it, then all the water gonna go inside. We painfully discovered that earlier. He's six four tall, so yeah, and I can also easily uh, sleep in the bed. Um, That's tall enough for him. Yeah, but he can't. Uh, the only thing which is uh, not made for me are these lamps because they go there I get my head into them but uh, yeah I could I can easily walk around here we got a couple of hooks installed here inside so you can just put your stuff in there your jackets or whatever you can put them over there um, we're gonna continue with our electricity setup just by on 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 things in this you can use the cover of the sink to hold the bed upright. You can, it's a foldable one, you can just put it up. Yeah. There you see it 
how I just to here you can see our water tanks we have a 20 liter and a 10 liter one you can connect them just by screwing the cap here on the uh, on the tank this one goes in the pump and up to the sink here we have our electricity setup fuse box installed for everything an alternator which can get you 110 volts if you switch it on with this switch here mm -hmm. now you have the green light alternator is on and on these two plugs you got 110 volts now uh, also nice the voltage the voltmeter here installed uh, tells you how much power you got left I'm gonna switch it back off now and I'm gonna show you the three batteries located right here in the box pretty powerful they're gonna last a long time if you drive over an hour yeah if they fully charge you can live around three days in the van uh, by charging your phone and lamps and all the electricity you need here's the control panel for your heater I mentioned earlier you can just switch it on on every degree that you want here's some more storage room also secured so it doesn't open up while you're driving a lot of space up here and even a little safe for your valuables here's the cooler uh, the little fridge we got inside just a basic 12 volt cooler and uh, connected to the batteries back there there's enough space in here to fill a couple of cold beer or uh, milk for the for your cereal in the morning or whatever you need so it's pretty nice um, we put some cooling pads in there cooling pads if you run out of power and have some stuff in there that should be cooled gonna stay cooler longer with these two yeah it can also uh, cool and heat stuff in there so you could also have filled water inside in the winter maybe for showering or washing I don't know by the way the isolation of this van is very thick so if it, it can be really hot outside and still stays co pretty cool inside yeah. for a long time yeah you can see how the isolation is made um, yeah. and it's Every wall is insulated like this, and also the ceiling. The ceiling. So we're gonna sell this van how you saw it in the video. We're not gonna change anything on that, and everything that's inside stays inside. Yeah. So if you're interested, please uh, message message us. We have all the ads on Craigslist and KG Auto Trader linked below in the description, and also a few more details. I think. Yes. Just yeah. feel free to contact us if you have any questions about anything.